In today's video, we're gonna talk about if camels make great pets. Hey, my name's Tara, camel behavior, wellness and energy expert. And I really wanna have a chat to you about how camels make awesome pets. So the short answer to the question is yes, camels make fabulous pets. And here's some reasons why. First and foremost, camels are super affectionate and very curious creatures if they're handled and trained right from the start. So Shiba here, she was originally a wild camel and the thing with camels is they absolutely adore human, human connection if they haven't had a negative experience with humans. They're honestly just like big dogs. I say it all the time is they're just like really big dogs. They want to connect with you, they want to bond with you and once they are bonded and connected to you through correct training and handling, they are your mates for life and they will be bonded to you for life. So if you're considering getting some pet camels for yourself, one of the most important things to know, besides the husbandry and all that sort of stuff, is that they are herd animals. Camels really enjoy life better when they have another camel with them. So if you're considering getting a pet camel, consider getting two, like highly consider getting two. There's some interesting things about getting two camels is that one, it actually makes them easier to train when they're with their own kind because camels often relate the most to whatever they're housed with. If they're housed with a donkey, they will think they're a donkey, but their mind doesn't work like a donkey, but they will think that. So the training actually makes it really difficult and really, really quite more of a challenge in that way. And the other thing is too, is that they really do enjoy each other's company. So out in the wild, they will form clusters and groups um, of preferred, if you like, family members of other camels and they will bond very, very strongly with those other members in their cluster. So with that being said, it is really important to keep two camels at a time. And a lot of people might come up with the question like, but what if one camel doesn't get along with the other camel? Well, there's lots of different ways around this. Um, and that's, that's a whole other topic really. But you, for the most part, you try to get camels in similar age groups to avoid any unnecessary fighting and all, all that sort of thing. That being said, I've seen older camels and younger camels work well together as well because a younger camel learns off the older camel. So consider getting two camels. If you have saved for a camel, you're ready to buy one. I would suggest that if you can, and not knowing your personal situation, try and save for that second camel so that you get them both at the same time. They come to a new environment and they bond strongly with each other and of course with you as well. Once you're fully bonded with your camel, it is such a beautiful experience just to come out and hang with them. They do make excellent pets. So long as you're very well informed on how to train them, how to handle them, and of course, how to look after them. One of the questions you might have, do pet camels need training? 100% yes, pet camels need training. They need training to bond with you, to connect with you and to be safe with you and around you and also for you to learn how to be safe around them. By nature, camels want to bond and connect. They do it in their herd, in their herd environment and they want to do that with you. So they can often act super curious even though they don't know you properly yet. And without a strong bond and connection with a camel, you're just looking at a trained camel. So with the training that I teach, it's all about um, forming that really strong bond and connection before any training commences. Because I mean, who wouldn't want this? I mean, this is just heavenly. They honestly are a little bit like big dogs sometimes i joke around and say look i think if i left my front door open it was big enough for a camel to come in they would for sure come in and sit on my lounge floor are camels easy to look after so it's a bit of a complicated question because in a natural desert environment if you've got desert 
environment like naturally where you live it's going to be less complicated if you got more of a um, green grass and pasture kind of environment so camels definitely require some hands-on care um, in a domestic environment so that's very important to keep in mind you cannot treat them like a horse you cannot treat them like a, a cow or any other large animal that you might have experienced before it's just really important to get very well educated on, on the camel's dietary requirements vaccination requirements if you want to go down that path training requirements handling requirements and parasitic and worm burden requirements so you're cheeky if you are planning on getting camels or you already have camels and you're not educated in exactly what a camel needs to be fed for a camel diet, then I really highly suggest you get into my academy, um, my Camel Ch Channel Academy, so you can get well informed on the exact formulas and the exact type of feeds that are safe for camels to eat. <laughs> Cheeky. Like things to consider is like the actual length of what a camel eating is really important for their tummy health. The camels have three tum uh, three stomachs um, and they're ruminants. So they need a diet that is going to actually encourage their stomachs stomachs to work properly. You are so cheeky today. Yeah. And some other things to consider is worm burdens. Camels don't have a natural resistance to worms. So camels really need to be on a par parasitic control program. You also need to do a prevention before the cure thing. So a lot of what the camel is eating will prevent, like if it, they're on the correct diet, will prevent a lot of health issues moving forward, skin issues, all sorts of issues wow. moving forward. I have a lot of this information in my Camel Academy, so please go and check that out if you want to learn more about this. Yeah. Having pet camels is one of the biggest pleasures in life, and I do recommend it, so long as you're well informed, and of course you really do consider the two camel situation. Camels can be kept with other animals, but like I said previously, they work better and they bond more strongly together as a camel and camel. So on a final note, do camels make great pets? Absolutely they make great, great pets. So long as you're well informed with how to care for camels, how their well-being, their husbandry requirements, and also how to handle and train camels. My recommendation if you are wanting to have pet camels or you already have pet camels but want more information, is to get yourself well informed and trained up. Your pet camel will need some sort of basic training and you will need your training in how to care for them in a domestic environment. I really don't recommend you just try to wing it. Um, I have done that personally and it ended up being quite a, a health crisis in, a, in the herd of camels I had. Get your information. I've actually got a free ebook you can download right away. It's an introduction to camels. I go through pet camel situation, what the husbandry requirements are and training requirements at a basic level. I really suggest you go and download my free ebook introduction to camels over at my website camelchannel.com. Make sure you subscribe to camel channel wherever you're listening so you don't miss any new episodes so you be can become an informed camel owner or wannabe owner and start living out your camel dreams mm -hmm.